a spreadsheet for you guys on Google Sheets and I wanted to give you an insight on what it's going to look like when you get into it. So it's going to be Productivity Flow is the name and when you find it, the very first thing that you're gonna wanna do is open it up, go to File, and then say Make a Copy. And the reason you wanna make a copy is because the version that I'm giving you is view only, so you won't be able to edit anything and you want to be able to edit it. So you go to File, Make a Copy, and then you can name the copy of the document. I usually, I would just remove copy of so that you have productivity flow, or you can name this, you know, uh, workflow and productivity, really whatever is gonna be easy for you to remember, and then say okay. That's then going to open up a new tab with your new editable <laughs> spreadsheet. So I'm gonna go back to where I was, which was on the blank page. So the blank sheet, you'll see these three tabs on the bottom left. One is time blocking, one is productivity, and the one uh, that I'm on is blank. You can rename these according to you know what's going to be easiest for you but I'm going to explain my process here it's really straightforward once you get familiar with it so <clears throat> uh, blank is obviously blank so you're not going to see anything on here this one is going to be great for when you want to make a new template so what I do want to say though is to make sure to duplicate this so that you're not making changes on the blank one because you use that more as a template how, how can I say that uh, so if you make a copy of it then you're not ruining the original version so you go you right click on that and then say duplicate and then you see copy of blank and then you can change that name you could maybe do it to the week that you're on so week starting let's just I mean the week doesn't start on January 1st but let's just pretend that it does so you can say January 1st through January 7th. I'd probably do it more like this. Whoops, first through 7th. Okay, so that's in there. So now I can add anything that I want to it. Now, something I've done that helps me out with these sheets is to color code. And color coding for me, I'm a visual person, you know, as creatives, we're very visual. So having those color codes in there is really helpful for quick glancing so it's not just a bunch of words and jumble so for example let's say i am going to be spending time researching slash learning about seo right here i'm going to press enter and you can see that it's lit up in green now it's highlighted that is called conditional formatting so if i go to format and then i go to conditional formatting you're going to see rules that pop up here. And these are rules that when the text contains a certain thing, a certain phrase or a certain word, then it's going to then turn that color. So that's just what the rule was that I created. So to do this yourself, you can, so I've, I've got these in here for you. And you can of course delete any of them that you don't use and you can always add rules or instead of deleting them, you can just edit them. So for example, if I click on text contains email, let's say I worked on email during a certain amount of time, you can see that the format rules, they apply to the full range. To get this to pop up A1 colon Z1000, all you have to do is click over here on the top left in between one and A, and that's going to select all the cells. So that's going to create, so if you click that first and then go to conditional formatting or add another rule or whatever, that'll bring this up and format if cells uh, text contains email is what I have this on but if you click on that you can see that I mean you can you can program this however you want to if the text ends with something or starts with something or if it's exactly a certain phrase it could be by date it could be if it's empty or not empty so custom rule here is pretty straightforward which is really helpful and then you can just change the text right here and type whatever you want and then change the color fill here and you can do it based off of theme or custom colors or anything and then just press done so i have all these pre-created for you so this is where you add another rule and you can see i'm i've got everything highlighted here so it automatically put a1 colon z1000 which is the whole entire spreadsheet format cells if and then i can go you know text contains I'm just gonna say example, and then let's change the color to this hot pink so it's really obvious. And then I can say example. 
Mm, see, that's going to automatically highlight. So that is a, the quick way to do conditional formatting, and I highly recommend it. It helps me a lot. Another thing I wanted to point out was I included text wrapping. If you don't like that, you can always turn it off. What text wrapping is is let's say let's say you have a long project description and you want to be able to read it all without having to hover over a cell um, and then press enter so see text wrapping will include all of that in here whereas if i had it text wrapping off i'll show you what that will look like i go to format text wrapping um, I can have overflow, which is going to push it all the way over here unless I type something into the cell next to it. I think that that might be the default. I, I don't remember, but there's also clip. That's just going to clip it off. That might, I don't think that's default. Anyway, but yeah, I like text wrapping. I like to be able to see exactly what is written where. So let's say you have a call with somebody and it's, you know, you need some references in there, you can do that. The other part of this, if you right click, you can always comment on it or insert a note and that will make it so that there's a little flag so that you know that there's a note there. Personally, that's not visual enough for me because it's so, so small when it pops up that I don't use it and I just write this big long thing. So. That's how you can start a new draft and you can time block exactly where you want things to go and plan your week that way. It's really helpful to time block with productivity. So I made a, two examples for you, which is very easy to clear. You would just select the cells that you want to clear and then, oh, and to select them, you just select one of them and then go over, you know, you can go across row, go, go across columns or go across the whole thing, press shift click anywhere right here and then delete that's going to delete them all so you don't have to make copies of the blank one if you don't mind losing what you've already worked on and just clear it out okay so time blocking i have put this in here as an example so let's say you want to give yourself 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes in the uh, evening for social media i have that in here as my time block it's not I, i'm not set on these this isn't something that i have to have to go by but it's a really good guide to keep me on track. And then I've got 9.15 and 9.45, I can deal with some emails. At 10 o'clock, let's say I have this phone meeting with John Smith, it's gonna carry over, so I've got two of them here and I just copied and pasted below. Um, if, if, if you like it better, you can just do you know, phone slash video meeting. The reason I have it this way is because I have phone slash video meeting as my text contains. You can change this to just like phone meeting or just meeting or whatever you want to do and add as many of those as you want. But let's say I have a phone slash video meeting and I have it for a half hour and I don't want it to just keep repeating the same text. I can select this one, press shift, and then I can merge these two cells together by going to uh, format merge cells and then merge all and then you see it's going to merge those and it'll just highlight all the cells it contained rather than repeating text the problem with this is that if you were to go and delete everything it keeps those cells merged so you would also have to go to format merge cells unmerge oh wait I guess you'd have to click just this and then say unmerge so that's kind of a pain if you, I personally do merge cells because I like the way it looks better, but that's why I say, you know, you can right click and duplicate the blank one so that you can start anew. <laughs> you can also go in and clear formatting. So that just means, you know, I go to format, clear formatting, and oh, I get, I have to highlight it first. Clear formatting, and then it'll get rid of everything and just have it be standard. I don't want that, so I'm pressing Command Z to undo. Okay, so that's just a quick overview there, but let's say you know I have artwork in here, I'm giving myself a break here, I've got some researching, learning SEO, got some orders. I don't know what your guys' workflow looks like, but this is just like some standard examples that might you know blanket across the board depending on what you do. Okay, so that's there, that's my time blocking. Let's say it's full, let's, I mean, whatever, I fill out more things, what have you, and I've got a plan for the week. 
Then it comes productivity. And I like to do this. You don't have to do this, but I like to hold myself accountable and see what I spent my time on. So if I go to productivity here, this is just another example. You can see that the the colors shifted. So I didn't I didn't follow it to a T. I mean, obviously, I did a really good job at social media and email this week. This isn't accurate, guys. This is just an example. I wish I only spent half hour on email. Okay, but let's you know, let's just say that you didn't follow exactly as you should have, but you know, you might have been on the phone or you might have been shopping or something during this whole time. So you can enter, you know, break, and then you can just, you know, duplicate that a few times. I don't know, or you could merge the cells. Basically, just enter your productivity. And then at the end of the week, you can reflect and see, like, okay, did I spend, you know, two hours on social media that day? It's not necessarily bad. It could have been research. You never know. Or did I, like, totally take a chunk of my day just dealing with these emails? How can I batch that? How can I be more efficient? And that's why I like to reflect because you're able to be more efficient that way. So, that being said, this uh, sheet is available to you to use in your own Google Sheets. And remember to make a copy of it first so that you can actually edit it. And then just remember if you do like to merge cells like I do, let me just show you a bigger example of that real quick. So let's say I want to all this section. I just have it here and then I just go to the time that I want. I'm going to go to format, merge cells merge all, and that's what it's gonna look like. It's going to be a solid chunk and block of time and it's not gonna look as busy. I like to do this, so that is how to do that. And then just make sure to keep making copies of this and then you can just delete the ones that you don't wanna keep anymore unless you wanna keep them and then it'll just fill this whole bottom bar up, which is what mine looks like. <laughs> but all right, I hope that's helpful. I can't wait to hear your thoughts thoughts and feedback and hear if this is going to help you out because when I first started doing this, it helped me out so much. So, all right, that's all for now. Thanks guys.